Hey you guys, back with the Saturn View project. Alright, this is the progress I made today. I got a late start. Uh, whatever, it's 4th of July, you know, it happens. Anyway, this wheel was number three. The worst of the worst junkyard wheels. It had the bulk of the damage, had the worst um, rim around the wheel. And so I have been working on it since uh, I filmed the other video. Um, ended up going with this little guy, which is a two inch, uh, 60 grit uh, paper that goes on there with uh, adhesive, not adhesive, uh, Velcro, there's the word, um, and then goes in the drill. Um, and then I stepped up to the orange or brown, whichever color you want to talk, uh, call it, the Scotch Bright. Uh, then your red, and then your, your teal, blue, aqua, whatever um, color, uh, coarse to finer. Um, and went over the uh, rim of the wheel itself. And no, it's not perfect, but I mean, this stuff was gouged like nobody's business. Okay, let's start over here at the, uh, the stem, valve stem. And we'll take a a little tour around and you can see where I have worked on it and these gouges were even down into here so yeah a couple times I hit the rubber with the edge of the uh, the sandpaper but it's fine none of it was bad it was more just kicking a little bit of rubber around but you can see all those gouges and curb marks have been removed it has changed the contouring of things slightly but you know you win some you lose some when you get wheels in bad condition you just got to kind of go with it and this is not an actual dent you can see this is straight it's just the way that it mashed it at the top here it kind of took it into the lip some so i tried to recontour it so hopefully it doesn't look like that once it's uh painted but either way, it looks a whole lot better than a mess of curb rash. And then you can see in here where we had all our chips and nicks. That one, it feels like I need to sand a little bit more. I can feel it with my finger. Um, if you're sanding by hand... Oh, I did forget to mention, I did actually use one other tool when I was starting. Um, I used this flap wheel uh, with the Dremel to get the damage in these areas started uh, that helped to kind of um, smooth everything out and get the bulk of the uh, the paint or clear uh, what powder coat there we go get the bulk of the powder coat out of the way so I didn't it was this damage was too aggressive for that little flap wheel but it worked well on these flat surfaces to keep me from you know if you used a barrel style sander you would leave a lot of divots and pits you know rolling around in there so the flap wheel tends to be a little bit more gentle so I started with the flap wheel on the flats of the wheel wherever there was damage and took care of the bulk of that um, I will have to do a little bit of recontouring with the filler primer because this is has become a low spot now um, so I did get some I didn't have any fast build but I did get the filler primer so we will see how well it does uh, to build this back up um, and get it at least flat. Um, but I went through and went all the way up with all those uh, Scotch Bright discs and then sanded a little bit with 320. It, the thing's still filthy. I've got to clean all of this before I sand it. So I'm going to get a red Scotch Bright pad and dawn and scrub the ever living bejeebies out of it and get it as clean as possible. Um, and then any of this mess that still stays, um, I will sand off with the 320. But come to find out, the 320 that I have, that, oops, was in my 3M, is not 3M. So it just tore and was, yeah, see, junk, junk. <laughs> it just turned into uh, shards as I was sanding. So I've got to take the cat to the vet tomorrow. So while I'm out, I'll actually uh, 
drop him back home, run back out real quick when the store is open again. Today's 4th of July. I'm not even trying. Um, I'll go back out there tomorrow and grab some legitimate 320 sandpaper to uh, finish scuffing this guy down uh, for paint. But as you can see, all those chips and gouges have all been sanded as level as possible. I will have to do some work with that filler primer, but so much better. Um, that was the last one I filmed at the other video, so if you couldn't stand listening to me jabber jawing, just fast forward to the end of part one, and you'll see just how bad a condition this one was in, and now what I've done to it to prep it for its uh, priming. So there you go, and I will um, probably do another little quick uh, upload showing it cleaned up before we prime, and then I'll do some snippets as I'm priming it. So, all right, y'all. Just wanted to share that with you.